Hey everyone, welcome back again. And in this video, you are going to see an automation which will let you send WhatsApp messages on form submission. So guys, here we are using Jot form to create a form for our customers or uh, leads or prospects. And here, as and when any of your interested customer is going to fill the form, we want to send to him or her a brochure of your business on WhatsApp. So we are going to automate this process and let me show you how it is going to look like. So this will be the flow of this automation guys here as in when any of your customer is going to fill this form or a lead is going to fill this form. The brochure of your business is going to be delivered to the WhatsApp account of the same person automatically. So you need not to manually sort out the details of your lead and manually compile messages for each and every one. So this is going to save a lot of your time and energy and you can focus on more productive things of your business. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is anyone can set up this automation very easily without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So guys, let me show you how you can also set up this automation right now. So guys, to set up this automation, first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And to reach here, you have to use this link, pabli.com slash connect. And we have pasted the same link in the description as well. From here, you can sign up for free by clicking on this button and you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. And you'll get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and log in to reach here on the dashboard. And here guys, you have to create a workflow of automation. So just click here on this create workflow button like this. And here you can give a suitable or relevant name to this workflow. So I'm giving the name here as short form to short form to what's app. Okay, let me enter it properly. Short form to WhatsApp automation. So you can put the name like this. And after that, you have to click on the screen. Let me put it in caps. Okay. Now you can click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, you will find the trigger and the action. So guys, automations work on the trigger and action. So trigger is the event which is going to trigger or start this workflow so it is saying when this happens so the action would be the response towards the trigger so it is saying here do this all right so action will make public connect perform any action according to the trigger so first of all you need to set up this trigger here so from this choose app field you have to choose your trigger application first which is jot form in our case so search for jot form and select it and the trigger event would be new response and it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL. And with the help of this, we are going to make a connection with Jot form. And after that, we are going to capture the response uh, from our form submission with the help of this webhook connection. And that will act as the test data. Let me show you. So to make a connection here, first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of Jot form application. So this is my Jot form applications dashboard. And here I have created these forms. And the form we are using here is this one. This is the form. Let me show you again. From here, you can see this is the contact form I have created, which I'm going to use to collect the leads. Okay. And by filling this form, the customer will receive the brochure on WhatsApp. Okay. So here guys, you have to click on this more option and here you'll find the settings option. So click on form settings. And under the form settings page, guys, you will see this integrations option on the left hand side. Click on integrations. And here you have to use this webhooks tab. Click on webhooks. Okay, so you can see already an integration is up and running here. So let me remove this integration. All right, search for webhook again. And here you will find uh, the add webhook field. Okay, so in this add webhook field, guys, you have to paste this webhook URL that you got. So just copy this from here. All right, go back to your jot form application settings and paste this webhook URL here. Then click on complete integration. All right, you can see now the integration is ready. So click on finish. All right, so we are done making a connection here. And you can see in your workflow, as I have copied this webhook URL, it started showing this waiting for the webhooks response. 
so this means now we have to perform a test submission so the test submission would be as uh, the same as the trigger event uh, that means we have to capture a new response from our form submission so we are going to fill the form and capture the response here and that will act, act as a test data for us let me show you this is our form let me fill the details of any demo person so let's say the name of a lead is neil patrick the email address of this person is this and here i need to enter the whatsapp number of this person okay like this and i'm submitting this form all right so you can see uh, the form is submitted here let's check in our workflow if we got the data of the submission and here you can see we have received the form submissions data as this uh, you can see the forms title the things the uh, that we have entered as the test data all we got here okay now what we want we want to send this lead a brochure on whatsapp for that to happen you 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 need to use this action step and from this choose app field choose whatsapp's cloud api okay so uh, if you want to set up your own business cloud api in whatsapp you can see the links that we have pasted in the description where we have thoroughly explained how you can set up your own whatsapp business api all right after that you have to select this here in the action step and after that select the action event as send template message then click on connect and from here select add new connection okay and from here you can see it is asking for the token the permanent access token of your whatsapp cloud api the phone number id and the business account id so you will uh, find these things when you are done setting up your cloud api and if you want to know how to find these things you just have to click here on this here text and on this page you will reach the forum page of pabli forum.pabli.com and here also we have embedded these two videos on how to set up your cloud api and how to generate the permanent access token for your whatsapp cloud api and here uh, we have uh, clear clear instructions written here step by step with screenshots as well to make to show you how you can make connections of your cloud api in pabli connect okay so you can follow those instructions right let me show you how where you can find these things so guys uh, you need to reach the developer.facebook.com page and in the developer section of meta where you have created an app you can see i have created an app and with this app i have connected my whatsapp cloud api in this app section when you click on this whatsapp getting started page you will reach this page all right getting started page of whatsapp and first you get a temporary access token and temporary access tokens expires in 24 hours so you need to generate a permanent token as well so you can see how you can do that and here in the second step you can see send and receive messages uh, we have this phone number id here so just copy this id and paste it here like this then go back and uh, you will see this whatsapp business account id also just copy that and paste it here right so uh, similarly you need to paste the token also so guys generating a permanent access token for uh, whatsapp cloud api is a one time task once you get your permanent access token you need to save that token because we are going to make the connection again with with the same token and guys making the connection with pabli connect by this process by selecting add new connection and filling these three things and clicking on save is also a one time task once you made a connection by filling these things next time what you can do you can use existing connection as i have already made a connection in a different workflow before by this process now i can choose existing connection and from this connections list you can choose your connection existing connection and then click on save and you will be connected again with whatsapp cloud api like this all right and here it is asking the templates name so guys to send messages on whatsapp directly you need to create message templates inside your uh, developer section or, or inside your cloud api setup let me show you here uh, you can see in the second step send messages with the api it is saying to create your own message template click here and when you click here on the hair text you will reach this message templates page 
and here you can create all these uh, message templates like these I have created. So guys, let me show you one. Message templates are nothing but the predefined message structures which you can use to send WhatsApp messages to multiple people at a time. So here you can see I have this template uh, named as business underscore flyer and this is the main body of this message and this is the preview of this message. So this is how this message will look like when you use this template. Okay, this is how a message will look like on WhatsApp. So to create such message templates here, what you can do, you just have to click here on this create message template button. And here you can select the category in which you want to create a message template. So here we have shipping update, payment update and many categories like that. So I'm selecting one like this account update. Okay. Now you can give a name to your template and you can select the language in which you want to send a message. All right. And after that, click on continue. And here on this page, you can add a header to your message. And in that header, you can enter a text or you can enter media and in media, you can add an image, a video or a document. Okay. And here in the main body, you need to enter the main message that you want to send. So let's say I'm uh, typing a message as hello. And after hello, I want to say hello, this, this, the hello and the name of the person. Okay. So guys, if you want to place here the name of the person to whom you are sending this message, you need to add a variable tag here because in automated messages, we are using the same template to send messages to multiple people. So uh, with the uh, with every new message for every new person, the name is going to change. Okay, so for that to happen, you need to add a variable here by clicking on add variable. And this is how you can add a variable tag or a body field inside your message template. And now you can get this body fields changed with every new message. Okay. I'll show you how you can change the body fields. So you have to put these body fields or variable tags in strategic places inside your message template. After that, you can add a footer also. You can add a call to action button also in, inside the message template. And you can check the previews also of your message here only. Right. So after completing your template, you have to submit it. Okay. Right now I'm canceling this. And after getting your message template submitted, Facebook will review your template in just few minutes and approve it. All right. So after get your templates approved, you can use them. So the template I am using here is this one. Let me show you. I am using this send brochure image template. Okay. This one send underscore brochure underscore IMG. This is the template I am using. Okay. And this is the preview of this template. Let me show you. This is the preview. Okay. And here you can see in the message body, I have this one variable tag and two and three tags here. So three variable tags means we can change three things in this message in every new message. Okay. So right now you have to select this message template and inside your workflow. So in your workflow, you have this template name field. And when you click here, it will show you all the templates that you have in your dev API setup. So from here, I'm going to select this send brochure IMG template. Okay. And you can see the language code and the template ID filled up here automatically. Now it is asking for the recipients mobile number or WhatsApp number. So we are going to use this test data here from this first step where we have captured the test data and we have received this WhatsApp number label here. So I'm going to map this label here and to map it, just click here on this field and it will show you this jot form step in the drop down. And from here only you can map the WhatsApp number label. Okay. So when you map this data, uh, th these numbers are going to change with every new form submission that you receive. Okay. And a new message will be delivered to the new number. That's why it is important to map the data. Okay. So here it is asking for the header image URL. So uh, you can see in my message template, I have this header added here in which we can add an image or the brochure of our business. So guys, I have uh, created a brochure and I have uploaded it in my Word WordPress website. So from there, I am going to copy the link of the uh, header image URL and that link should be uh, should end in this dot png or dot jpg okay 
so the link of the image should end with the extension file type okay so you can use .png and .jpg links here so let me copy my link and paste it here so guys i have pasted the uh, png link of a travel business okay Tra tools and travels business the brochure of tools and travels okay i have taken this example and now it is asking for the body fields so as i have already shown you that i have three body fields here three variables in my message one is for the name other is for our website and third is for the business's name okay so let me enter these details here i'm going to map the name from the first tab because we are capturing the names of the persons from the form submission so i'm mapping the full name here neil patrick okay here you can enter your website address or your business profile so that is not going to change i think so i'm putting it manually so the things that you put manually here are not going to change with the message the things that you map here are going to change okay because when you map data the labels are going to change with every new trigger or form submission okay here you can put any name let's say the name of my business is pably only so you can put it here like this okay right so we are done filling the details here map the data here now i can show you how the message will appear because i have the access of this whatsapp account and this is the whatsapp account guys actually and i can show you how the message will look like so i'm clicking here on save and send test request and let's see what happens so guys this is the response we have received and you can see we have received a new message also on the whatsapp and you can see the message is this hello neil patrick thank you for showing your interest uh, and one of your team members will contact you shortly meanwhile you can check our brochure which we have attached with this message for more details you can visit our website and you can see in place of the body fields we got the details as this neil patrick website address and the name of our business and we got the brochure attached here okay so this is how it is going to work in real time guys and we are done setting up this automation so guys you need to set up this automation only once after that as and when you receive a form submission the whatsapp messages are going to be delivered automatically all right and guys the best part is you can use this same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel